guys, this is Berserk Chip, and welcome to part 2 of the Gundam Battle Assault 2 Basic Guide for Tall Geese 3. If you haven't seen part 1, please do so. The link will be in the description, so it'll be easier to find. Um, in part 1, I discussed his move list and some basic combos, and now we're going to talk about just how to use Tall Geese in general. Tall Geese has a lot of really great moves in the air, uh, in terms of just anti-ground, um, and he's got a lot of great, great normals on the ground, and they, a lot of them combo into each other. He's got a lot of really good combos on the ground. Um, a lot of which lead to super, which of course does a ton of damage. Um, so it's going to make you want to rush and mix up and get in with tall geese, but there's not a lot of cross-ups in this game, so I wouldn't recommend that. I would be more methodical, especially since not a lot of his attacks are safe on block. I think the only ones that are are crouching and neutral light punch and crouching light kick and his whip from a distance. Um, his, his ammo is, you would think with, with that huge cannon he'd be a very long range based character, but you really have to be careful with his projectiles because for most characters ammo is, is pretty plentiful and it's, it, if in high, in high competitive play where HP isn't going to last that long, um, ammo is not really big of a deal, but with Tulgi's your ammo goes by really fast, especially if you're using Mega Cannon Plus. He's got two projectiles, a Mega Cannon and Mega Cannon Plus, both of which use a ton of ammo. Um, they have pretty good tracking. Mega Cannon doesn't do a lot of damage. Mega Cannon Plus does more chip damage, and it goes through the opponent. So I don't know what kind of potential that has. But it's, it's good for keeping your opponent away, or keeping him guessing, or just keeping a light barrage, but do not rely on the projectile, because you'll run out and then basically have one less option for that entire fight. Um, his beam tackle can only work uh, for all the hits on the corner, and you really should be careful for using beam tackle against characters like Heavy Arms, or Wing Zero, or any long range character, because what it does is it does a decent amount of damage, especially when you combo into it, but then it pushes you all the way to the other side of the screen, and that's basically the most advantageous place for you to be in for heavy arms or wing zero or any character that has like just just destructive long range attacks. And Tulgis doesn't really have any way of getting in uh, with a barrage, so keeping it close range is probably the best way to go. Yeah, I think the best way really is to rush. He has a really good, um, really useful um, dive kick. Um, and it, it completely changes the arc of your jumps, which is unusual for this game because like dashes and boosting is usually just like a, a curved jump where whatever you do, it'll cancel your momentum and just bring you diagonally downward pretty fast. So if someone is hitting you with a super and you dodge it, like one of the beam supers, you can use the, the dive kick to get behind them a lot faster than you normally would, and then you can just get behind them just quick enough to hit them from a combo from behind them and they can't block it. Um, that's one good situation for tall geese. Um, and that's, that's really basically all I can really say with tall geese. It was, it was, I, I spent a lot of time with him before making part one and part two. Um, and I, besides the, the, the combos, which I found, which were really cool, I can't really find anything in terms of just winning strategies that are, are the best way, like with Heavy Arms or Wing Zero or Sand Rock. I, I couldn't find something with Tall Geese that really just screamed, okay, this is what you need to do in order to win. So basically, he's got a lot of moves, and I guess you just have to, it, it depends on the situation. Um, doesn't really have a, a particular play style, but he, you know, he does have things that you can't do, like just be long range. Uh, and that's basically. Oh, and his, obviously, his unblockable is really, really fast. That's that. That's basically all I have to say about Tolkies. Uh Just um, keep it close range, but don't be reckless when you're rushing. Um, you prob your damage is probably going to come from combos, so the best cross-up I can think of is just crouching light kick and neutral punch. 
and that can go into all the stuff that I showed you in the previous video. So that's about it for Tulgies. Um, the next video is going to be Gundam Ultron, and I've had I've had a lot of trouble with this guy. So uh, we'll see what happens with Ultron. Uh, this is Berserkship signing out. Thank you.